Hello, I'm Lucy Jennings from The Creativity Patch. Come along with me and let's do some happy weaving. The glue's dried and I've trimmed off all the warp threads nice and close to the straw. And there we have our right side of our weaving. What I'm going to do is put a disc in the middle and then a little blue flower and a little tiny center for that blue flower, like that. So let me show you how. The first step is I thread a beading needle. I need a beading needle because that needle has to go through those, that little tiny white bead. I'm going to press my finger firmly on the glass disc, turn my weaving over, and I'm going to find that hole and poke my beading needle right through it. I'm going to pull it up, but as I pull it up, I'm going to make sure that I leave about two inches of the thread hanging off the, hanging out the back, about this much, and you'll see why. Turn my weaving back over to the right side and thread on that blue flower coming in from the back side of the flower. And now I'm going to thread on the little white bead. And as I take my needle, I'm going to leave the white bead up here while I thread the needle back through the flower bead and back through the disc to the back side of the weaving. And make sure my thread's all going through right before I turn it over. There we go, looking good. I'm gonna turn it over now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie these two ends together. This is the one that went through first, and this is the one that came back from the front side. I'll trim it off here, and I'm just going to tie it in a couple of knots. Make sure they're nice and tight, because what I'm doing is I'm securing this, and I do not want it to be floppy. That wouldn't look very nice. So I'll tie it a couple of times here. And I'll make it three times. <laughs> and trim it off. I'm going to push the project off to the side a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. The next step is to get the embroidery thread, find the center of it. I want to tell you about this neat needle I'll be using. It's called the Big Eye Needle and it separates pretty wide so you can really get some yarn in there. You can get this needle at Rio Grande Jewelry Supply. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can find the link in my show notes. If you're watching this on my blog, just scroll down. And the first thing I'm going to do is thread the hex bead. Then the triangle beads. Now what I like to do, now the next step is to thread that needle back up through the hex bead. What I like to do is take the bead and pull the thread tightly, threading the needle back up through the hex bead. It's not catching on the embroidery thread. I'm going to pull it up through here. And I want to show you what I'm doing here. I don't want it to be too tight. See, if I pull it too tight, that doesn't look good. It gets kind of all off center. I want it to have a little bit of ways of hanging down here, and it just looks kind of cute that way. So I'm going to take the embroidery threads up here. 
we don't really need the big eye needle anymore. I'm going to take the embroidery thread and I'm going to tie a knot. I'm going to take the embroidery thread and I'm going to pull it up a little more here. Make sure we've got some leeway down here, just like we had. And I'm going to tie a knot right there. Sometimes it's nice to have the a needle to pull it down exactly where you want it. Now remember it's getting a little tight down here so I want to pull that down, pull the knot, and that's about how I like it, just like that. I'm going to take my beads and lay them down underneath my disc bead and put those embroidery threads behind the glass disc. Now I want to make sure I like how it's hanging down here. I like it about there. Now to secure it there, I'm going to take one of my embroidery threads and wrap it around. Then I'm going to take the other embroidery thread and wrap and wrap it around. Just like that. And then it's nice and tight, and this isn't going to go up or down. The last step is to take the embroidery thread and tie it in place. Nice and secure back there. And one more time. And I guess one more time. I'm going to trim these off so they won't show. But you don't want to trim them too close. Oh, we're almost done. All we have left to do now is trim off the fringe at the bottom. Now I'm taking another piece of embroidery thread and I'm going to thread it through the tapestry needle. Kind of let a lot go through because what we're going to do now is take that tapestry needle and just let them go right down through that straw. I'm just taking the threads and tying it in a nice little bow. And that way it can be a little bit adjustable for anybody who gets it. And I think I'll leave it long for right now, just so it can be adjusted when, when you decide exactly where you want to hang it. I hope you have fun with this project, and we'll see you on the next one. Happy weaving! Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about weaving, subscribe to my channel. And be sure to check out my website, The Creativity Patch. There's lots more things to learn there, and I've got some really fun weaving kits. See you there, and happy weaving!